What's up everyone? This is Nihi and I hope you guys are going well. Yesterday was so much fun with the video. We fought against the man dwarf, dwarf man, Torizon. And you know, today I heard there was another threat and that is Jane. <laughs> Jane the Terrible. So this is campaign level 20, stage 5. A lot of players having difficulty with this stage because of Jane. Jane does a lot of healing and we're going to show you a team of four star heroes with a few new additions uh, to showcase them and also show you an idea of how one may defeat Jane. So first up, we're going to use our own Jane and she's a slow charge speed. She will be able to share damage and heal us. So for her weapon, I'm putting on Bottomless Pit, which is the snake's exclusive weapon that will increase the mana gains okay so that will help her speed up her get getting a skill ready we'll put on fabula fabula does fabula things she is slow as well but she does massive single hits and dispels debuffs but more importantly well after this she turns three non-green naya stones into naya healing stones so that we have healing over time for our heroes but more importantly she will be able to charge up Morgan and herself and we are putting on her own uh, oh, this, is not, this is not her own weapon this is high towers weapon similar to her, her own weapon just increases normal attack damage by 17 for every three turns for uh, when 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 it's when she gets healed so next up we have Gwenda everyone has Gwenda starting the game so we we'll keep her there for a bit of you know same healers we've been using Gwenda is going to be healing everybody and dispelling debuffs and also I put on energizing stuff for starting mana for every of the healers, I mean the players. And we've got Morgan with the Dart of Naya that turns uh, six green, six non-green Naya stones into green ones. So Morgan is going to be very vital because she is one of the anti-healing heroes. She does single attack and she stops healing. So very important when using uh, a team to fight Jane, you want you probably want some anti healing for some of the uh, team compositions. And we got Serapus. He's one of my OG heroes. He kind of functions like a high tower, but for the raid side of things, and he activates all the raid Naya stones to attack enemies, and has a chance to inflict Vendor's mark on them, which means that they will take extra damage when hit by a skill. So. That's very good and uh, put on this weapon, Bell's exclusive weapon on him. Every turn there is a 30% chance, 33% chance to increase the critical chance by 25%. So when he activates all the red stones, hopefully we might be able to see some of the critical hits in action. And maybe just for fun, let's choose G Glacier. Huh? Let's bring Glacier in the Healing Dragon instead of Shield Dragon for a bit of backup heals because not too sure how fast Jane and Fabula are gonna heal. So we want to have that. So this is not a really good bot from the start already. We didn't manage to get our match 5 for the greens. So we have to slowly build it up but it's okay. We will, you know, sometimes this is what a uh, life Life, you don't get everything you want, isn't it? So, we just deal and see what we get. Okay, hopeful for the... Oh, the green just missed. Okay, oh, one green went there. That's what we are looking out for. Fabula can go to work. We can use healing dragon for that heals. And then now we're trying to use all the... Or the mana so that we can charge up our our heroes as much as we we can all right we'll do that dark and then we we'll get the reds and the yellows get our damage share up as well very important okay let's get a blue come on uh, no blue and no reds as well <laughs> can't use anything not good not the best but can we get a green? No, we can't get a green. It's okay. We've got Gwenda, Gwenda, and then we'll get our heals again. 
I was hoping to show more more uh okay we can match that and we can get up basically right now before the boss comes up we want to get our Morgan ready okay and now we can slowly start to wither down this gob uh this 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 goon here because he we just want to get to the boss Okay, uh, what else? Let's get a yellow or a, yep, yep. Yes, that's what we want to see. Let's kill him. Okay, everyone's fully charged up. Very good. Ready for the boss on turn 13. Which is not Sammy. The game wants you think, to think this is the big shot. It's actually Jane. Jane. And then we want to clamp down that healing immediately. Okay, and there we go. And then we activate our own Jane. And oh, we we have to use our dragon, okay? Don't forget to use the dragon. Look at how much heals this Jane, insane Jane is giving to Keith and Sammy. That's why she is so terrible. But we've stopped her healing for now. We're gonna get more green stones, very good. We will use Gwenda on Sammy because he's a weaker element and she's gonna do a bit more more damage on, on, on him. Activate Serapus right now because there's no healing anyway, but you can see there'll be some healing for Keith and Sammy. Okay, so uh, let's see. We'll smash that. We get a bit of a yeah. We get we get our 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 cascades. Jane is still stuck on healing for two turns. Um. Which is good. We want to keep that up. We need to keep that up, really, because. But we, maybe because now there is two turns. Uh, yeah, we will. No, we will. We will continue to to target her because uh, we don't want her to be healing. She can heal Keith and Sammy. It's fine because we will deal with them later. We cannot have her. We cannot have her not. Uh, yeah, we we cannot have her heal really. <laughs> she will be so much pain to deal with as you can see but we will continue to put damage look at that 1200 damage for from uh, fabula onto onto jane pop that serapus and serapus is good because you, you see there those critical and he, using his skill doesn't count as a turn as well so really very good I'll continue to to wash the enemies because they are very dirty <laughs> They're very dirty. Yes, they play dirty. We're gonna play dirty with them as well. So let's see. We're gonna get a green here. We don't. That's all right. We can keep trying. Keep trying again. Jane has used her enemy. Jane has used her skill. There's damage share as you can see from the light here. Eh? Uh, yeah, you can see this. All this light. That is the damage share in action. Share damage. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna dispel it. No damage share for you. No. Alright, and Jane is, is getting low, which is what we want to see, but we've got... Yeah, we, we need to stop them from healing again, so we'll smash that, and we'll get our... Well, thankfully, we get our Morgan. Stop her from healing. No heals. <laughs> no heals for you forever. And then we'll use Gwenda on Sammy, and there's still some peripheral damage on to Jane as well. Get our heals as well. That's fine. Uh, let's see. We want to see. We want to see Fabula charge up so that we can continue to hit her heart, which uh, we are getting there. We still got Jane. Two more turns. It's not too bad, really. It's not going bad at all maybe we we'll do some gem cascading wow look at that look at that Keith thought he was a bad boy he was just healing he was just healing my team look at that outsmart you uh, Keith <laughs> okay so it's going good well, I think one more turn to unclaim the healing which is not what we want we want to have that clamp down it would be so good if we can match the greens here below. Uh, 
right now seems a little bit dry isn't it hey but yeah let's go smash that we'll get the side greens yep damage is always damage you know okay yeah and even sammy look at that you can't use multi hits skills especially on on jin especially when jin has um damage share going as you can see these are the damage share um it will just heal the the team so take note of that when you are using when you're fighting jane okay <laughs> now the 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 fun starts because finally we got rid of the enemy jane you know that's all we're here for okay so as you guys can see this strategy works okay it takes a bit of time to set up but once you you get going this is how you're going to defeat the enemy with Jane in the arsenal and of course the campaign sometimes they can be a little bit harder trickier because they are buffed to give players a challenge but let's go ahead we'll be targeting Mr. Sammy right now and we will get rid of him okay we'll get our I think uh, so far I'm liking uh, Glacier giving my team heals because um, as you can see the counter attacks they they hurt quite a lot you know oh look at that but it's it's good so far um let's let me see what i want to do i'll pop this it's good so far as a backup healing you know and there we go keith is gonna use his skill and just give us a bit more heals on ourselves Okay, so we'll go ahead, activate Sarapus' skill, make them weaker and now, as you can see here, Keith has the Vendor's Mark, so he is weaker right now. Okay, we'll go ahead and match that. So, yeah, as I was saying, I think Glacier is good as backup heals because we're fighting counter attack decks they are not too much debuffs it's more damage so it's good to um, bring backup heals in case you know jane or, or gwenda is not working sometimes they are weird they don't work and when they don't work that's when you're in a picker but you see we also have um healing over time those that is from fabula so i'm enjoying my my healings and i'm getting my cascades that's very good. Heal me! <laughs> oh, heal us. Heal us, yes. That's delicious. Now, I'll hit you back. Hit you back with that dragon. Wash you guys, man. You guys are, are filthy. <laughs> you guys are filthy. Alright. So, hit that Gwenda. See how much damage. It's really doing a lot of damage to Sammy. We probably can save Fabula for Keith. We'll go Morgan on, yeah, that's it, 1400 and then it does 210 extra damage to, to Keith. That's what I'm looking for, babe. Yep, now that we are getting really, really good gem cascading. So yeah, so the reason why I didn't match the... I didn't match this was because I wanted to get Morgan, okay, but I shouldn't have pressed that anyway. It's okay. We are showing examples of how to play. I'm liking this team. This team is doing it. There we go. Finish on turn 31. Let's have a look at our stats. Jane is no more. The Jane that has terrified so many players is no more. Look at how much heals our Jane is doing. 58,000. You are insane, Jane. Okay, all of the heroes are 120. You can slowly level them up by by stage stage 20 in campaign. I think you are slowly should be getting level 150. Okay, look at that. How much damage Fabula has done. That's quite a lot. Wow. Gwenda as well, it's on par, 
And look at that. That's the healing over time that Fabula does. 35,000. That's a lot of uh, healing. That's not bad. And Gwenda is also doing that for Fabula herself and Morgan because of the counter attacks. Morgan, I, I thought she, her damage would be more actually. But um, I, I think she was very, very, very valuable in this team composition because without her and the anti-healing, we wouldn't be able to stop the enemy Jane. Okay, and my Serapus, my OG Serapus, I'm so happy to showcase him to you guys because I know you guys have been saying, oh, he's not as good or something, but in my books, Serapus is really good. You can use him if you're, you're not running raid heroes too much. And he helps to just use all the raid uh, gems so that you don't, you don't, you just, otherwise they are just wasted, you know. And it's not bad on the damage. <laughs> so there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys be able to clear this stage. Let me know if you guys want to see any other campaign stage. And I will do my best to clear them with 4-star heroes. I'm Nihi and I'm out. See ya. Bye.